Hi there. Well, today I'm going to show you a really cool way to create awesome graphs for your Home Assistant dashboard. This is called the Apex Charts and there are hacks download. Let's have a look. So you will need hacks installed, then go along and search for Apex. And there we find it, Apex Chart Card. And as you can see, big thanks to Rom Rider for all these cool graphs. Look at the different colors you can use and you can select from line graphs, bar graphs. If we scroll down here, there's all sorts of other ones. We've got pie charts, we've got radial bars, um, scatter graphs. So let's have a look at how these work. So I'm gonna go along here and I'm going to download this hex component. Doesn't take long. Once you've done that, you just need to reload your front end. So I've created a new section here on my dashboard. We just go add and now I search for that Apex card. There we go, you select that. And what it does, first of all, it brings you in this demo card. So, so now if we go along here and we go edit, you'll see here that it's brought up the code for this specific graph. Now, the first thing you need to do is remove this over here. So these sections, the green sections, as you see, it says remove me. So we'll just go and we'll remove those two because those are just creating demo data. Now what you can do is you can go and create or add in some of your specific entities to create your own graph. So I'm going to use inside CO2 versus external CO2. So to find my two entity IDs, I just click on the little star there and I copy the entity ID from there and I go along and I paste that in over there. And then you'll see it will already load your graph. So, I'm gonna so now you can see I've pasted both of those entity IDs in and I've got external CO2 here in orange and the internal CO2 in blue. Now, as you can see, these are two different graph types. So if we go back and we edit this, you can see that's because on the second one, we've selected a type of column. So for example, if I were to remove that line over there, it would then be two uh, line graphs instead. So I can create some really cool looking graphs with colors of the graph actually changing as the values are changing by setting up all of these sort of variables like I've done on the left hand side here. I'll leave a link in the description below of this little bit of code that shows you how to do this. Anyway, that's all for now. Let me know how you get on with this graphing tool and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.